All right, Shalom Israel. This is the brother Awarba coming back to you again with another quick lesson, more so, more like an exhortation. Um, before I get into it, I want to give you know all praise, and glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to you brothers that are out there doing this work in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the planet Earth that are helping to raise the uh, the house of David. You know, and you uh, you few you few sincere aqua that are out there listening around the world as well. All right. Shalom and salutations to you. Um, the topic that I want to get into, and this is just a quick exhortation, you know, just something, you know, that's going to encourage brothers, you know, to be more professional, you know, just be ye professionals of this truth that we're giving, you know. And what made me think of this topic was I got to sit back and just listening to how, you know, um, how like it how um you know people are just more professional even athletes you know how they conduct themselves on and off the field you know the things that they say the things that they do you know what i'm saying and i'm just like well well you know what we could be that way within this truth as well you know because we're going to be set up as rulers in that day when our big brother yahweh shot comes back you know what i'm saying and and does away with this place so while we're here you know of course, Great Millstone, we've, you know, uh, if you look back, there was a time where, you know, things were real harsh, real rough. Sometimes it has to be that way, but it doesn't always have to be that way. You know, the whole thing is, you know, like the, like the, uh, you know, the apostles and, the, you know, other elders say, you know, this thing ain't always about cursing out the white man on the corner. You know, this is also about edifying the nation of Israel, man, and reaching our people, you know, and, and, and doing that in the best of our ability. So, you know, I got prepared a few scriptures, this, that, and the other, and hopefully this lesson is going to be edifying, all right? So the first uh, scripture that I want to call is going to be uh, <clears throat> in the book of 2 Timothy, okay? So like your bros. It's going to be 2 and uh, 15, all right? And it reads, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman, that needeth not to be ashamed and rightly dividing the word of truth okay so think about it what that word professional means man it means that you are you are you're the top of 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 your craft man that means you are that is your profession okay it's something that you do and you're the best at it all right well us in great millstone we know that we got a hundred percent truth right you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody go into things like we do. Nobody breaks down the Bible like we do. Nobody goes into the etymology of words like we do. Okay? And this is not something to boast about. I mean, we're not boasting, but it's the truth. It's facts. You know what I'm saying? So if we're if we're professionals in, in dividing the word of truth, you know, and 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 being being top of our craft and what we know, you know what I'm saying? That should also spill off in, in into our daily lives. The way we treat treat people and the way that we are an example for, you know, people that are in this faith. You know what I'm saying? Prime example, just look at, take at any of your, your regular athletes that you see on television, man. After they go in and they, and, you know, they, you know, they, they do their thing, you know, and then they have an interview outside of them. You know, their, their, their speech is on point, very professional. You know what I'm saying? Their appearance when they're in and out of the ring or in and out of the field. It's very professional. It's on point. You know, they're being they're ambassadors. You know what I'm saying? And then you also you have some people that, you know, they conduct themselves in a way that that gets them, you know, uh, looked upon badly. You know what I'm saying? You know, the scriptures also tells us to be of good report, man. You know, and so, of course, that that goes right. It goes hand in hand with being professional. OK, it's not always where you have to use, you know, rude speech, even though rude speech is OK in the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? But there's multiple ways in how you how you can reach Jake, man, you know, without without offending much. All right. You know, so there's multiple ways that we're going to go. I mean, that you can be professional and Lord willing, we'll get into it and, um, and within this lesson. OK, next scripture that I got is going to be a. Uh, in the book of Corinthians, the second Corinthians, it's going to be uh, 
Corinthians 6. We start at the third verse. And it says, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Okay, so yeah, giving no offense, you know, everybody that, you know, of course watches this, the Hebrew Israelite videos, they know about Great Millstone. And they're like, oh man, those guys are radical. They, they this or that, they're this, that, and the third. Well, shoot, man, that's because we had to be. We had to make our heads uh, hard against their foreheads. We had to be bold, man. We can be as bold as we need to, man, you know? But that was a, that was a certain time. You know, and, and with this being the last days, man, we are ambassadors for you. How about Shimmy? How shot, man? You know, the whole world watches us because we're going to be kings in those days. You know, most high willing. All right. We're going to be uh, set up to rule nations to judge, you know, the, the, the whole earth, man. OK, that's having a rulership mentality. But if you're more professional with it and you got that professional mentality, man, you're going to have the, the mindset that's fit for king, man. OK, you're going to be blameless, man, with that type of mindset, because if that rolls over, you know, it's going to roll over from your daily life into your work life. It's going to roll over into how you treat brothers. It's going to roll over into your spirituality as well, man. You know. All right. We'll continue on. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of the Most High. That word, that key word, ministers, right there, just means servants, man. Okay? In much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, and imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watching, and in fasting. Okay? And all the things that you go through in your daily life, man, and all the hardships that come with enduring within this work man and doing this work okay it's not gonna come easy and it's, it's gonna be kind of difficult you know but anything that's worth having never came easy to anyone all right and i'm gonna continue this is verse six it says by pureness by knowledge by long suffering by kindness by the holy ghost by love unfeigned by the word of truth by the power of the Most High and by the armor of righteousness on the right hand side and on the left. Okay. Yeah, man. So you, you, you know, be of good report and go out and bring out this ministry, man. Whether it be a sit down, whether you be out on the highways and the byways or, you know, anywhere. Because we are, we are, we're not of this world, man. You know. We're not of this world, and even the way that we carry ourselves and conduct ourselves, you know, if we're in this faith, you know, it, we, should, we should shine differently from everyone else, you know. Prime example, man, just like when in the scriptures in the account of uh, Yahweh when he was telling Paul, you know, you're going to deny, or in Salakia, not Paul, but uh, Apostle John or Disciple John, you're going to deny me three times, man, or Salakia, not John, but Peter, you're going to you're going to deny me thrice. And then the, uh, the people were telling them, yeah, you're one of those people that follow him because your speech betrayeth you, man. Yeah, we ought not to talk and sound like the world, man. We should, we should be more professional, you know, be spiritual and at the same time be learned men, man, because that's what we are. All right. I'm going to get my next precept. Um, this is going to be book of Timothy okay first Timothy 4 verse 12 okay actually I'm gonna start up in uh, verse 10 for therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God who is the Savior of all men especially of those that believe all right these things command and teach let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Now, if you go back to verse 12, man, it says, be thou an example, man. Who are, first and foremost, who are we trying to reach? Who are we trying to edify? We're trying to edify the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the elect. That's it, man. Okay? We're doing our job. That's the work. We're doing that. We're doing the servitude of Yahweh Shai, and we're doing the will of Yahweh Shai, Salakia. 
so that you know we can get out of here first and foremost but man you could, you're supposed to be an example but not only an example you're supposed to be a good and a great example because at the end of the day you can still be a bad example there's plenty of plenty of uh, you know examples of being a bad example out there kind of just like I brought up with 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 your your favorite athletes man your favorite athletes your favorite artists anybody that you may watch or you may read about you know there's people that you know conduct themselves in a, in a manner that is you know comely beautiful and accepting then you got those you know people that you know have a a, a bad mentality or have a bad rap man you know the bad guy okay but that's not what this is about this is a, being about an example for uh, uh, the brothers that may come into this thing or the people that are out there watching us man okay I'm gonna continue this is uh, verse 14 it says neglect not the gift that is in thee okay which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of hands and presbytery Okay, meditate upon these things and give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all. All right. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue unto them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Exactly, man. So if you are uh, if you are doing what you're supposed to and you're setting the example and being a good example, being professional at it at the same time, man, taking things seriously and, and, and dwelling in this truth and being a good servant for you, how about Shimmy How Shai? Not only are you going to save yourself because you're doing the works and you're doing the will of the Heavenly Father, but you're possibly going to reach out to those that hear you, man that you preach to, that you prophesy to, man. And at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. All right? And so I'm going to pretty much end with that. And, you know, again, I hope this lesson was edifying to you, brothers, and you sincere aqua that are out there listening. You know, and before I close, again, I'm going to give, I want to just say Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, or give honors and glories to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and salutations to you brothers that are out there doing this work across the four corners of the planet Earth. Again, this is the brother of Warba. I'm going to say Shalom.